Hi guys and welcome back to another video from Labrotory. It's Alex here. I just wanted to do a quick video on the Pokemon ball that we are currently building and go over how to prep the Pokemon ball ready for painting. So the latest craze at the moment is this new Pokemon Go app which Corey and I have been playing a lot and we were very keen to make our own Pokemon Go ball. Okay so the Pokemon ball consists of six parts. You've got the top casing and the bottom casing. Very nice. And then you've got the inner casing and the bottom casing which is what it actually uh, hinges on if I get it around the right way so uh, you put a little screw in the back there and this is what it actually hinges on then you've got one button and one housing that the button fits in basically so it'll be like that okay so let's start prepping so we can paint this thing okay so first of all I'm just gonna clean up any unwanted supports that the 3D printer left behind so I'm just gonna use my fingers to remove them and maybe some side cutters will come in handy as well Okay, so I've got all the parts ready to paint. I used a metal coat hanger to hang a few of the parts so that they're not sitting on the ground. First of all, I'm going to use the uh, body primer. It's perfect for these plastic parts because it's sandable. I want a, a glass finish basically uh, at the end. So I finally uh, finished preparing the outside of the Pokemon ball uh, after lots of uh, surface primer uh, spray paint and then sanding it with uh, 120 grit uh, sandpaper and then finishing it off with 1200 grit sandpaper to give it a really smooth finish uh, and then giving it a final coat of uh, surface primer to give it a real hard shiny look basically so um, nice and smooth no uh, printing lines uh, that are visible anymore so yeah uh, the only thing left to do is to give it a nice coat of red and white so let's do it Ooh, that's nice.
So I've painted the bottom half white and the top half red uh, and they're looking really really nice. Um, I can't wait to put this together. Okay, so I finally finished um, painting the Pokeball. It's come up really, really nice. That's the uh, bottom of the Pokemon Ball in high gloss white. Um, the top of the Pokemon Ball in high gloss red. And then the inside two uh, parts of the Pokemon Ball, which is black. And, uh, and I made a little stand for it as well. and the inner button. So let's put it together. Okay, so I'm gonna just use some five minute epoxy glue to glue the inner Pokemon ball shell to the outer Pokemon shell. Uh, I've used this in the past. It works really, really well. It's really strong as well. Uh, you could use super glue if you want, but uh, this is what I've got. Um, and yeah, works really well. So I finally finished the Pokemon ball, it's looking really really nice, uh, fully functional by pressing the button on the front and the bottom drops open, the inside is looking really nice. So the only thing that's left to do is go catch a Pokemon, so let's go. <laughs> So I've really enjoyed making this Pokemon ball. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to uh, give me a like or even better, make sure you subscribe to our channel to see uh, all our cool videos that we are currently making. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Yeah.